The T-13 tank stands is one of the lesser known yet fascinating machines in the lineage of armored warfare, and its story is deeply connected to the evolution of tank technology during the mid-20th century when nations were racing to design vehicles that could balance firepower, protection, and mobility. Unlike the more widely recognized main battle tanks, the T-13 served as an experimental and tactical platform designed to test not only armor configurations but also new weapon systems and battlefield strategies that would later influence more advanced armored units. Built with a compact frame, the T-13 prioritized mobility across rugged and uneven terrains while still attempting to offer a respectable level of firepower. Its design incorporated a relatively lightweight body, which allowed it to maneuver faster than many of its heavier counterparts, giving it a tactical advantage in reconnaissance and hit-and-run style engagements. The engineers responsible for the T-13 paid careful attention to its suspension system and engine power, ensuring that the tank could endure long-distance travel without losing reliability in combat situations. The armament of the T-13 was one of its most defining features, as it carried a medium-caliber gun that was effective against light-armored vehicles and infantry fortifications, though it struggled against heavily armored opponents like main battle tanks of its era. To compensate for this limitation, the T-13 was equipped with secondary machine guns that provided support in close-quarters combat, making it versatile enough to take on both defensive and offensive roles depending on the tactical requirements of the battlefield. Crews that operated the T-13 noted its ease of handling compared to bulkier machines, and this user-friendliness allowed for faster training and adaptability among tank units. The tank's compact profile also gave it a lower silhouette, making it harder for enemy gunners to target, which in turn increased its survivability when used effectively in cover-rich environments. In terms of armor protection, the T-13 was not designed to withstand direct hits from high-caliber anti-tank weapons, but its sloped armor provided a chance to deflect smaller projectiles and shrapnel, thereby offering a modest level of defense for its crew. The design philosophy behind the T-13 was not to create an indestructible war machine but rather to deliver a tank that could move swiftly, engage effectively in short bursts of combat, and withdraw before being overwhelmed by superior firepower. This made the T-13 particularly useful in roles such as reconnaissance, flanking maneuvers, and providing rapid response support during fast-moving operations. Its mobility made it an asset for commanders who needed a flexible tool to adapt to changing battlefield conditions. Historically, the T-13 never reached the level of mass production or widespread deployment like some of the iconic tanks of its time, but its existence played a vital role in shaping military thought regarding light and medium armored vehicles. Military strategists learned from its strengths and weaknesses, and those lessons influenced the development of subsequent armored vehicles that combined speed, firepower, and survivability in more balanced ways. While it may not have enjoyed the fame of tanks like the Sherman or the T-34, the T-13 occupies a special place in the history of armored warfare as a stepping stone toward future innovations. Today, it is remembered more as an experimental marvel, a piece of engineering that demonstrated what was possible when designers dared to step away from traditional formulas and experiment with new ideas in armored warfare. Its story continues to attract military historians, enthusiasts, and collectors who appreciate the hidden gems of tank history that often go unnoticed but remain crucial to understanding the full picture of how armored warfare evolved.